Hello and welcome to my mini review of the Huawei P30 Pro. So I've had the phone for just a tad over a month. So I'm going to start off this review by looking at the build quality. Now for me, this is top notch. Beautiful colours and it's just a whole it's nice weight in hand. It's, it feels great. I mean one of the things I really love about it is the colour. So the breathing crystal one, I'm really happy that I got this one. Originally I wanted the blue one, but the breathing crystal's just it's such a gorgeous colour. And in all different lighting conditions, you get all these different light cut all these colours. It's a really pretty colour. Right, so let's get a closer look at this. So as I say, it's got a nice heft to it, it's 192 grams, so it feels solid, it really does. I mean it sounds solid. Feels, it feels like it's going to last. The only thing I will say about the glass construction, it's incredibly slippery. It really is. It's well worth getting a case for this, or if you've got clear skins, something like that to show off the colour. But yeah, I mean, walking around it, as it were, you've got your SIM tray, USB Type C speaker, you've got a microphone there. Got nothing down this side. Got IR blaster and a microphone, volume buttons, and a power button. And what's really good, you can get it in focus. Nice little red accent in there as well. So the other thing I quite like is the uh, display. Just unlock it. The display is really bright, colorful, punchy. I know it's 1080p, full HD plus they call it, but with the colours and everything I can sit outside perfectly well and unless you've got it next to a Samsung Galaxy phone, something like that, where they've got the Quad HD display, the Mate 20 Pro, I don't think you're going to notice much of a difference. It, the way they've actually made the screen look yeah, I mean, I I have no complaints with it personally. It's no LED screen, six point four seven inches. It's got great viewing angles. You haven't got any that color shifting that goes on with some phones. I like it. I know people have seems to have a uh, thing about it, but unless you're actually pixel peeping, this display for me is very very good. Now my one gripe about the display is the uh, the edges. I mean sometimes I can be I'm holding it trying to do something on there and because you're getting these false touches on the sides of the display it keeps opening up apps and it, doing other bits and pieces so I mean that can be really annoying so but having said that if you if you've got a case on it you're not going to have that problem but I do think that's a bit of software that could be probably needed just to stop so much of the, the problems. I mean, I, I probably can't do it now anyway, but sometimes I'm I'm actually holding it, watching YouTube or whatever, and it'll exit out the video cause, and then do something else. It's But that's a minor gripe. Uh, with a, Like I say, with a case on, that's not even an issue. So... So one of the things I do like about the display, obviously you've got your always on display. As you can see, I've got one notification at the moment, but it sort of lines up alongside there. So unfortunately it's not as functional as like a Samsung always on display, but nevertheless, that's a brilliant thing to have. So let's have a talk about the software. Um, the performance of this thing is brilliant, really quick. Um, following on, I, I mean, I had with a P20 Pro, I loved this thing, uh, still do. It's brilliant. It's been, it's never slowed down. It's never, it, it, the performance of this thing has been absolutely fantastic. And this seems to be following on the exact same sort of trend. There are a couple of little software quirks, I suppose. But for the most part, I'm not, so, I don't mind MUI software. I know a lot of people don't like it. Uh, but 
for me, it seems to suit what I want it, want it for. So, but the RAM management, stuff like that, it's been great. Uh, I've yeah, I mean, it's only been just over a month. So, battery life, battery life's been very good. Um, I think that's down in part due to the fact that it's got quite an aggressive uh, power management. Um, there are some apps that I normally use, something like Telegram, which if I haven't used it for a day or maybe a few hours, um, I'll get messages, but I won't get any of the uh, notifications because for some reason it puts the app to sleep. Uh, I haven't worked out how to get around that one yet. Um, WhatsApp seems to work okay. Um, YouTube and Twitter, it may be just a particular app thing. Um, Instagram seems to have an issue with it as well. But other than that, I mean, because I'm using the phone all the time anyway, so I'll end up getting the messages sooner or later. But yeah, overall performance, fantastic. Um, I think we should get into talking about the camera. So we take it to the front facing camera. So I'm not using any microphones or anything else this is purely straight from the actual phone itself so it's a 32 megapixel front facing camera and to me from what I can see it looks really clear um, okay, well, I don't fall over anything but even out in the uh, garden at the back there it's not all blown out seems to control it quite well and got really bright lights in here as well so yes yeah, not bad um, we'll see what the uh, I think the microphones are quite good on this, actually. Uh, it picks up great sounds and it sounds brilliant. Right, so we're going to go with the rear-facing camera. So I'm filming all this in 1080p. Uh, looking through the gra glass here. Let's go outside. So the next set of photographs we've got, um, I've just got this one, the normal one. Uh, we go straight to the wide angle camera. I love this feature. It's such a, I'm so happy that your phones incorporate this now. Uh, on this one, we've got just normal picture. I'm gonna zoom into this sign. Uh, this is 10 times zoom. I mean, it's phenomenal, this camera, it's brilliant. And this is 25 times zoom. I mean, you can clearly read what's written on that thing. Um, what I decided to do is have a little try at doing some uh, macro photography stuff. So, I mean, varying results. It comes out quite well. I mean, this is the first time I had a go at it. So, I guess with a bit of practice, I could probably uh, get a little bit more. I mean, on this one, I did a close-up and then I zoomed in as well. So, um, I mean, you get, I mean, really for, for the detail you get, it's quite good. Um, this one's just a normal picture of the shard. I'm going to do a series where I'm going to zoom in on this. So this will be five times zoom. And then we go straight on to the ten times zoom, which is obviously hybrid, which is optical and digital. And on this one, we've got the full 50 times zoom. You can actually just make out the people in there. But it does get a bit blurry. So I, while I was in London, I went to Downing Street. Uh, I thought I'd just catch on the corner of this building some of the uh, architecture. It's quite difficult to see. So, I mean, the camera really picks out the details really nicely. and uh, You can really zoom in nicely on it. I'm quite impressed, actually. I did the obligatory moon shots. Uh, you have to get the exposure just right to do this. Um, this is the best I could get for now. Apparently, you can get it better, but... Unfortunately, it's not brilliant where I live. So night mode, these were taken in pitch black, literally. I just, I can't believe the detail it's got in this. And uh, night mode, it has a certain sort of night mode. This is normal. And I went and did 
night mode. So normal mode, actually at night, it actually lightens the images anyway. So like this one, uh, it the night mode just brings out that extra colour, the extra detail. So I'm pretty much quite happy with this phone's camera. Excellent. Follows on from the P20 Pro. Brilliant setup. Love it. Right, so that's my sort of one month review on this device. Um, there are some other software updates coming out for it. Uh, there's one for the camera where you've got like a split screen camera mode where you've got one where you can see yourself close up and a wide angle. So and he sort of does it at the same time. So I'm waiting for that one to drop with the, the, uh, the uh, software update. So hopefully that will come soon. I know it's out in China and a couple of other places. But so I'm waiting for that one to drop now. But in conclusion, it's a fantastic device. It really is. Yes, there are some glitches. There are some software uh, quirks, let's put it that way. Most of it can be ironed out with any software updates they may uh, bring out. But uh, is it a phone that I recommend? <sighs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's fantastic. I love it. I'll hopefully do more in-depth camera review. And uh, maybe after the uh, software update that we get. But um, is, it, is it worth buying over the P20 Pro or should you upgrade? That's something I'm probably going to do a comparison video on. Uh, it's a bit difficult for me to answer that one because it's subjective. So it depends what you want from a phone, really. For me, they're both fantastic phones. I love them. Uh, they've both got their own sort of things. I, I couldn't, personally, I couldn't choose between them. This one's obviously better in that it's got the wireless charging and such like. But uh, I... I do love the older phone, so but uh, that's it for this video. Um, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell so you can see when the next video comes down. Also, I've got some other videos for the uh, screen protectors and a couple of case videos. Check those out. I'll see if I can leave links somewhere in the description or in the video. Um, yeah, so that's the... Huawei P30 Pro.